What is going on guys? Today I bring you another Destiny video and today we're going to go through all the vendors in the tower's new stat world items, that being armors and weapons. Now if you didn't know already, on a weekly reset now, um, all armors and weapons across all vendors get a new role, which is great. So it's going to be different, they're going to offer different perks than what they did last week. Now we'll go through every weapon, uh, perk by perk basically. But armors, what I'll do is I'll put them at the end and I'll give you guys basically a little guide on what you need uh, for that tier 12 gear. Because if I do armors as well, this video is going to be like 45 minutes long and we don't want that. So let's get straight into it. I'm going to check out the Crucible Quartermaster's weapons. Here we are, fucking go! Let's see what the palindrome's got. Okay, so we're going to start with the Zero Day Dilemma. And this one already doesn't look that great. Sights, we have um, MD Reflex, we have Quick Draw IS, and we have the OEG Rifle Scope. We then have Battle Runner and Danger Close with Appended Magazine, Brace Frame, and Hidden Hat. That ain't good at all, to be honest. <laughs> that isn't good at all. Let's move on. Oh, the B29 Party Favor. This looks quite interesting. We've got... MD Reflex, Sure Shot IS, nice. And we've got OEG, we've got Partial Refund, Outlaw, Perfect Balance, Lightweight, and Class Hot. That's actually pretty fucking good. That's actually pretty good. Uh, obviously, the best so far, best of the two. Uh, the Hero Formula, what we got in this then? The MD Reflex, we've got the Ranger Lens, and we've got the OEG, we've also got Who's Next? I had a storm, small ball, explosive rounds, and firefly. And nothing to it. To be honest, it won't be too bad as a PVE weapon, but how many scout rifles are you needing for PVE? I mean, let's do all over the place now, especially the water glass uh, being this week and the quarters and last week. I mean, I don't think anyone's going to be sure. Scout rifles, okay. The bat. Oh, this don't look that great at all. The palindrome. Here we have true shot, true shot, true sight. Even we've got fast draw and we've got quick draw. We then have last resort, relentless tracker, hammer forge, lightweight, and hidden hand. You know, hidden hand isn't actually bad on hand cannons. I know. I think it's underrated. I don't see that many people talking about it, but we've got hidden hand, hammer forge, and relentless tracker. It's not the worst role in the world, but it's certainly not the best. Me personally. I probably wouldn't spend my legendary marks on it because I do have the perfect rolled um, palindrome already, but it is up to you, obviously. Each new day, this is the fusion rifle. Okay, so we have on this and the reflex, we've got the red dot ORA2, and we've got the OEG. We then have Icarus, Battle Runner, Small Ball, Accelerated Coils, and Counterbalance. Now, this isn't too bad, to be honest. Shame this ain't a range perk because Icarus. And accelerated cores on this thing will absolutely destroy. Um, counterbalance, do you really need it? I'm not sure you do. Um, so yeah, each new day, that's 7 out of 10. Okay, shotgun, we have on it, which is the 44 curtain call. We have smooth ballistics, we have field choke, and we have aggressive ballistics. We then have army of one, cascade, rifled barrel, Lightweight and range finder. Jesus. That isn't too bad. If you're a shotgun lover, you may like that weapon. Anton's rule. Sidearm. We have quick draw. Sure shot. True sight. Zen moment. Feeding frenzy. High caliber rounds. Feed stock. And hot swap. Not terrible. To be honest though, I've never used this actual uh, sidearm. The one I'm loving at the moment is my Queen's Reef one. So I love that fucking weapon. Um, but yeah, it's not too bad of a roll, but definitely ain't the best. Okay, so next we've got the Event Horizon. Oh, 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 we've got Texas SLS-15. We've got the Short Gaze Sight, nice. And we've got Hawkeye. Triple Tap, Mulligan, Casket Mag. Skip rounds in a hint. You know what? This isn't too bad whatsoever, you know. Casket mag. And mulligan. You've got plenty of ammo right there because it's only got three. And hidden hand with short gaze. I mean, it ain't got no range pet, but its range is pretty fucking ridiculous already, to be honest. But yeah, that's actually a great sniper. It really is. Shame I fucking suck with them. <laughs> Next up, we have the chaotic neutral, which is a machine gun. 
fuel choke, smart drift control, accurized ballistics, we've got unflinching, spray and play, rifle and barrel, counterbalance, and hidden motherfucking hand. That actually isn't too bad. Spray and play, rifle and barrel, and hidden hand. That's actually great as well. Some decent rolls. Some decent rolls. And last up, we have something wicked, a rocket launcher. We've got on it warhead veneers, we've got soft launch, and we've got counter mass. We then have army of one, a battle runner. We have quick draw or javelin, and we have tripod. I'll go for tripod, battle uh, javelin, and probably battle runner here. Shoot, run away, shoot, run away. Um, but yeah, um, it's a rocket launcher at the end of the day. Again, do we need rocket launchers? I don't think we do. What I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to go to Vanguard. Okay, so we're now at the Vanguard Quartermaster. Please have a decent Parthian shot. Because that's the one weapon I do want. Okay, so first up, we have the Continental. And this doesn't look good. Oh, 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 oh. Take my words back. We've got the OEG rifle scope. We've got the quick draw IS. And we've got the MD reflex. We have crowd control. Danger close. Rifled barrel or perfect balance and third eye. You know what? That ain't too bad. It's not amazing, but it isn't too bad. We can go for range or stability on this. Move crowd control for extra damage and third eye. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay, parfum shot. Woo! Please have a stability. Please have stability. Okay, we've got the OEG, we've got short shot, and we've got red dot or RA2. We've got Secret round, partial refund, lightweight, and small. Oh, man. Because this, this weapon, in my opinion, does need stability. Because it's a two-burst headshot kill, for sure. But hitting two bursts to the head without having stability on this thing, it's pretty fucking difficult, unless you're actually in their face. So, with the parfum shot, I think I'm going to wait until next week. Okay, next up we have the Angel's Advocate. Oh, dear me. This for sure is a fucking fate bringer. We've got the red dot or ARA, sorry. We've got the range lens RLS3, and we've got the OEG rifle scope. We then have a last resort, but we have outlaw, small ball or explosive rounds with firefly. That is a scout rifle fate bringer. Obviously without the arc burn, but still, that's actually pretty fucking good. Hmm, that's pretty fucking good. Not that I need a scout rifle, but it's still pretty good. How dare you, we have, which is a hand cannon. We've got the True Sight IS, we've got Sure Shot, and we've got Quick Draw. We then have Partial Refund or Relentless Tracker. We've got Rifle and Barrel, Explosive Rounds, and Range Finder. Range Finder, Rifle and Barrel. Not too bad. I just don't like this archetype of uh, hand cannons, in my opinion. They're absolutely useless. No point in having one if you've got a palindrome or that archetype or... Like an Ice Luna, Hawk Moon, even. Just no point. It really ain't. EX Asterisk, we've got, or X Asterisk, we've got OEG, the Red Dot ORA, and we've got the Reflex. We then have Battle Runner, Underdog, Accelerated Coils, Small Bore, and Hidden Hand. Not great, because the actual standard fusion rifle itself isn't that great on impact and range. So, yeah. Skip that, motherfucker. Skip that shit. Sidearm, the Teacup Tempest, which I know for for sure is a beast. We've got the Quick Draw IS, we've got Sure Shot IS, and we've got Steady Hand. So we've got Sure Shot, we've got Relentless Track or Cascade, High Caliber Run, Snapshot and Range Finder. You know, it ain't too bad. It isn't the worst. It's nowhere near the best, but it isn't too bad. I'll leave that, I'll leave that, I'll leave that one with you guys. I'll leave that one with you guys. Okay, next up we have the... All comes Razor, which is a shotgun. Uh, soft ballistics, accurized ballistics, and smart drift control. We then have Cascade, Battle Runner, Perfect Balance, Rifled Barrel, and Crag Control. Again, not too bad. Battle Runner, Rifled Barrel, and Crag Control, but no range finder. Let's get out of there. Let's get out of there. Okay, Sniper, we have the Seventh Sense. We have. Ambush, nice. We have UTAC SLH20 and we have the Wildhawk SLS20. We then have Army of One Cascade, Perfect Balance, Skip Rounds, and Hidden Hand. Uh, I mean, it's got the Ambush, it's got Hidden Hand, but. Oh shit, Perfectionist, I completely forgot about this perk. That's not too bad. It's not too bad, but 
But for me, for damn sure, I ain't hitting all shots as headshots. No way at all. <laughs> Not gonna happen unless we're playing PVE. But I've got plenty of badass PVE um, snipers. Okay. Next up, we have the Bone Crusher. You have Fuel Choke. We have a Linear Compensator. We have Aggressive Ballistics. We have Life Support or Take a Knee. Appended Mag and Brace Frame. And crack a shocking. Get the fuck out of here. And last but not least, we have the disassembly required. This is the rocket launcher. We have counter mass, smart drift control, and warhead veneers. We have grenadier, army of one, heavy payload, quick draw, and tripod. Now, that actual rocket launcher itself is pretty fucking shit. Okay, let's go and check out uh, uh, Dead Orbit. Why not? Dead motherfucking orbit. Why am I putting that? No, I don't want a legion with you guys. With that, oh, the pedophile 011. We see that it's got range finder already. We've got OEG, we've got quick draw IS, and we've got the MD reflex. We have armor piercing rounds, snapshot, rodeo, or perfect balance, and range finder. You know what? This thing could actually pack a decent punch in PvP. It really could. It really could. Shit, it got a. Uh... Excuse me, I'm tired and I've literally just woke up to this video, but yeah, shame I ain't got um, counterbalance on it. The Keystone Zero One Scout Rifle, we have, which is the beast by the way, it packs a ferocious punch. We have OEG Rifle Scope, we have Arranged Lens RR5, and we've got the Red Dot ORA2. We have Armor Piercing Rounds or Snapshot, we have Unflinching or Hammer Forged, and we have Firefly. You know what? It's okay, it's okay. Stability does let it down, you do have to control it between each shot, but it's still a beastly ass powerful uh, scout rifle. It really is. Okay, so next up we have the World Succumb 001. Here we have the OEG, we have the Red Dot ROA2, and we have the Reflex, we have Enhanced Battery or Snapshot, we have Performance Bonus or Hammer Forge, and we have Hot Swap, which is actually quite a decent road fusion rifle, to be honest. Hot Swap, Enhanced Battery, and Hammer Forge, or Performance Bonus, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Uh, next up, we have the Last Ditch. Zero, zero, 001. We have aggressive ballistics, CQB ballistics, and we have smooth ballistics. We have extended mag, lightweight, surrounded, small bore, and rangefinder. Not not too bad, but not too bad. How many people use shotguns now or even seek for shotguns now? I don't even know. I'm not one of them. The bitter edge. We have Eagle Eye, we have Longview, and we have the Hawkeye. The, this Longview SLR-10 isn't a bad scope. We have Lightweight, Explosive Rounds, Small Ball, Life Support, and take get the fuck out of here. Take a knee! Um, and last but not least, we have the Unto Dust 0, zero. I can see it's got grenades and horseshoes already. We've got Counter Mass, Soft Launch, Aggressive Ballistics, we've got Field Scout, Lightweight, spray and play, perfect balance, and grenades and horseshoes. Shame its standard stats are fucking garbage. Only thing it's got is a half decent reload, and that is it for Dead Orbit. Now we're going to skip back to. Hello, everybody. Now we're going to skip to. Uh, future Walkout. Here we have the whale. Ooh, look in the chamber. You know what? This is the most underrated. Uh, Hand cannon in this fucking game. I've got the perfect roll of it, and it's by far my favourite hand cannon in the game. Um, but I'm also loving the Hawk Moon as well, by the way. Uh, we've got Quick Draw IS, we've got Fast Draw IS, and we've got True Sight IS. We've got High Calibre Rounds or Hip Fire, we've got Third Eye or Perfect Balance, and Luck in the Chamber. Shame though, shame it hasn't got a range perk. Um, but what can I say? <sighs> I wouldn't, don't waste your marks on this guys, if you want a decent whale, wait for a range finder perk, or a range on it, at least. Uh, next up we have the Waltz, uh, which is a rapid fire uh, pulse rifle, same archetype as the Clever Dragon and the Grasper Malek. We've got the OEG uh, short shot and we've got Reflex, we then have Armor Piercing Rounds, Hip Fire, we've got Hired Storm, 
and we've got perfect balance along with rodeo so we've got two stability perks not that rodeo does much um and i'm a piercing rounds i mean shame ain't got i'm piercing rounds perfect balance and counterbalance because that would absolutely fuck people in the faces you know what to be honest though this probably will do the same thing um but obviously counterbalance is a lot better stability perk than rodeo a million times better the waiting we have um, the OEG, we have the red dot RA, and we've got the MD reflex. We then have accelerated coils, we've got lightweight, we've got knee pads, we've got small ball, and we've got a range finder. Accelerated coils, knee pads, and range finder. Not too bad, but do you slide when you're using a fusion? I don't think I've ever seen anybody do that shit. Okay, the wounded, the scout rifle. The OEG rifle scope, we've got the focus lens FLA5, and we've got the red dot RA. We then have extended magazine, we've got lightweight, triple tap, small bore, and zen moment. Nah. Nah. There's so many better scouts out there. The Wormwood. Decent fucking sidearm. Quick draw IS, we've got fast draw IS, and we've got true sight IS. Strong target acquisition on that one, we've got high caliber round, snapshot, zen moment, hand loaded, and range finder. Not too bad, not too bad for a sidearm, not gonna lie. Not too bad at all. And last but not least, we have the Warpath. We've got Hard Launch, we've got Smart Drift Control, and we've got Confined Launch. We then have Fled Magwell, Lightweight, Tripod, Perfect Balance, and Cluster Bomb. Yeah, it's got decent blast radius, but its velocity is pretty fucking bad. Um, so yeah, you know what's uh, rocket launcher I'm loving at the moment? The, is it the Hunger of Crota? That thing is an absolute beast. But what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to skip to New Monarchy and I'll catch you guys back when I get there. Okay, so we are at New Monarchy, the final vendor we're going to check out. Okay, so we have on the Assembly 2, which is looking quite good so far. We've got an OEG rifle scope, we've got Steady Hand IS and we've got... MD Reflex, we've got the high caliber rounds, hip fire, crowd control, perfect balance and counterbalance. I'm sure it has these two fucking perks every fucking week. It really does. This thing though, with count, uh, high caliber rounds, perfect balance and counterbalance. This thing, you know, could surprise you, it really could. Same archetype of the Doctrine of Passing, if you remember that auto rifle, which absolutely ruled PvP for quite a while. Free will, we've got Quick draw, we've got short shot and we've got a steady hand, we've got explosive rounds, hip fire, hot swap, perfect balance and look in the chamber. No range though, no range at all. Damn. In Preacher 5 we have the quick draw IS, we've got fast draw IS and we've got true sight IS, we then have high caliber rounds, we've got lightweight, army of one, fitted stock and range finder. Not too bad for a sidearm. To be honest, not too bad for a sidearm. Uh, we've got the Bad Council 4. We have Aggressive Ballistics, Accurized Ballistics, and we've got Smart Drift Control. We have Extended Mag, Hip Fire, Cascade, Hammer Forge, and Full Auto. Full Auto, in my opinion, and you've probably heard me say this before, I think it ruins shotguns. It may make them shoot quicker, but the spread, it's just, it just ru it ruined my... Uh, Conspiracy theory quite a while back and I've just hated it from there to be honest. It could have changed since then but I just I just hate it. Uh, D position 7 we've got uh, the Taxis SLS 15, we've got Short Gaze Nice and we've got the Hawkeye SLR 15. We've got Skip Rounds, Snapshot, Triple Tap, Hammer Forge and Take A Knee. Do you know what? Although I ain't a fan of Take A Knee with Short Gaze, Snapshot, Hammer Forge and Take A Knee, you never know, it could be quite decent. Crouching at the back of the map, camping your fucking ass off, sniping people. You know, it could be quite good. It could be quite good. And last but not least, we have the first Citizen 9. Uh, on this, we've got Fuel Choke, Linear Compensator, and Accurized Ballistics. We then have Extended Mag, Snapshot, Feeding Frenzy, Hammer Forge, and Persistence. Yes, but it is what it is. Extremely, well, the fastest uh, archetype rate fire of heavy machine guns. 77 mag bullets in the mag. But fuck. Do you need it? And that is it, guys. That is it. 
Uh, what I'll do now, guys, is I'll go through all the armors on screen for you guys with a little guide on what you should be looking out for for that perfect tier 12 gear. But I won't go through every one and every perk because we will be here all day. This video has been going on 20 minutes already. And this will add an extra five to it anyway. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Do smash that like button. I do appreciate the support. Tell me down below in that comment section if you're going to buy any of the vendor weapons this week. I probably won't, to be honest. There's nothing spectacular I've seen. Uh, but subscribe for Daily Destiny. Hit that bell button next to that subscribe button to turn on notifications so you never miss a video of mine. And I will, as always, guys, catch you on that next one. Court respects all you've done. Yeah.